The reason I'm making this video is because when I checked my phone last night, I saw that on Sky Sports News, it looks like Chelsea is set to appoint Frank Lampard as caretaker manager. Now, a lot of you guys know I made a video, however many years, months ago it was, um, when he was when he was sacked from Chelsea and how, yeah, that didn't quite sit right with me. That was something I, uh, you know, really didn't agree with. I felt it was far too soon. He should have been given much more time especially with everything he'd achieved in his first run. And yeah, my opinions on all that haven't changed. Yes, Thomas Tuchel took over and he had an amazing run. You know, he won us the Champions League and for that I'll always be forever grateful. But yeah, I just felt with Lampard, I felt like it was time for something different at the club. He was building something. We'd seen young players coming through, the likes of Mason Mount, uh, Reese James, you know, players like Ruben Loftus-Cheek getting more of a kick. It was just, yeah, really interesting and different and it just, yeah, it was welcomed by me. But as history showed, results weren't, didn't go his way and as a result, unfortunately, he was let go. However, it now appears he's going to be given the caretaker role until the end of the season. And yeah, this is just something that, again, I don't follow Chelsea as much these days, but it's something that I'm really quite happy to see. It'll be interesting to see how the next ten or so games that he has in charge go. Unfortunately, it's not worked out for Graham Potter. Again, it's another shame. It's a shame that it's not been able to work out with English managers at you know, pretty prestigious, high-profile club. But as is the nature of the game, when results aren't going your way at Chelsea, more often than not, the owner will make a decision. And that's happened. Obviously, this has happened under a new owner now. We no longer have Roman Abramovich, but they've still shown that if it's not working... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Todd Borley... Um, seemed to give him as much time as I think he could but I don't know it was it just seemed to be a step too far I think which is a shame but again hopefully Graham Potter can go on to still have an amazing career I'm sure he will I mean he's already been a prevalent manager in the Premier League with Brighton so yeah I'm sure his career is only going to go from strength to strength so yeah I just wanted to give my thoughts on that if Lampard is to be given the caretaker role which it seems is going to be the case I just hope that would be amazing if he had a very successful spell and that caretaker role went from interim to permanent again that would be an amazing story do i think that's likely to happen probably not um i'm sure the club are already looking at potential long-term suitors i think the likes of uh, nagelsman of, uh, is the favorite i've seen something as well about luis enrique apparently you know as potential so former barcelona manager um so again, they're all interesting candidates. I mean, whoever takes on the job, they know the game. They know it's going to be a case of get results. If you don't, you're gone. There'll be some announcements in the next few days. Presumably the Lampard one will be confirmed. If what I'm hearing is true, it should be confirmed shortly because I think the idea is for him to actually manage the game at the weekend. I think if they're at home to Wolves or there might be a way to Wolves, but um, yeah, the idea is to have him in the door for that. And I mean, it makes sense. He knows the club. Um, he can bring back in some of the players, you know. Hope it just It's going to get the morale up short term, if nothing else. And I think it's a move. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but it's a move I would certainly welcome. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there, I'm sure there are other fans that will share that sentiment. And listen, I mean, whilst the Premier League... Um, the season's kind of over for Chelsea. I mean, it has been for a while, the, the mid-table. That's looking likely where they'll finish. Um, I've got no hopes at all of a top, of a late top four charge or even a European charge. I think, yeah, they'll finish, you know, between 10th and 8th um, and rebuild next season. Obviously, they are still in the Champions League. Um, stranger things have happened. If They've got Real Madrid coming up next to, again, are probably one of the favourites to win the tournament. Um, I watched their performance against Barcelona um, where they demolished them but aside from that they've demolished other teams so yeah I think it's likely that Real Madrid would be the favourites you never know if they can get the Stamford Bridge rocking maybe they can get a few surprise results and if, if, if you can get past the, the hurdle that is Real Madrid who knows who knows uh, what could happen in that tournament so I think that's a, sort of the last thing Chelsea fans that Chelsea fans, myself included, are clinging to, but yeah, we will wait and see. Um, it's just a very interesting time, um, and it has been all season. I mean, 
the sacking of Thomas Tuchel, bringing in Graham Potter, sticking with Potter for as long as they have. The whole thing has been an interesting watch. I just wanted to give my thoughts on it. Very much looking forward to Frank Lampard returning, if that is the case. I'll be keen to see what happens in the remainder of this season, what Chelsea can achieve and where they'll go from there. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, everyone.